Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick one about doing an integrity check on the Sawyer squeeze. So I did mention this in my previous long form video about this filter, but I thought some people might just want to have a quick um, overview of how to do it on the squeeze. So uh, when you get the Sawyer squeeze, um, you will see a couple of uh, these burn marks here. This is how they lock the two pieces together. This uh, raised area is actually a threaded connection. So this is how they lock the threaded outer to the inner. The first time you try to open it, just grab it and break it apart. It takes a bit of force, but once you get it past those uh, little burnt uh, intersections, it'll be fine. Unscrew it, and then you will get the base out. Cartridge typically sticks to the top. Twist it out gradually, and that's this O-ring interfacing with the top. Just clean off any sand and all that uh, from the O-rings and uh, inner part of the base, and uh, in a part of the cover. If this is the first time you're opening it after a long time, there'll be a bunch of sand and all kinds of other stuff inside here, like I first found it. So uh, just uh, do it over some paper or something like that. Mine's clean now because I've opened it a few times for the videos and all that, it's, it's, I've cleaned it out. So once you have the cartridge and the base, fit the cartridge back into the base and, and get this O-ring to interface here properly, push it in all the way and that's it. It seats at the bottom and you can feel it there. So uh, just like uh, you would do it on the Platypus Quick Draw, you can watch those videos as well, but it's, the principle is the same. You get uh, a bottle, uh, fill it up with water, screw it in, and push about a litre of water through it until the membranes are properly saturated with water. Then while leaving it connected, face it upwards and start pressing so that air starts to get pushed through the filter membranes. So I'm going to take out the bottle now so that I can just get some headroom here. So as you're squeezing the bottle at the bottom and pushing air through, if a membrane is broken at the bottom uh, or anywhere along that, you would see air starting to bubble up through whichever membrane um, filament that is uh, failed. And if you press and see a constant stream of air, that means you have a failed filter. Um, this could happen due to knocking it, falling, or the most common case is freezing overnight. Uh, yeah. So if you see it um, bubbling, uh, I was thinking actually, if, it, uh, if I ever encountered that, I would mark it with a marker pen or something, and then I'd dry it out and try and put a drop of um, glue on it, super glue, uh, which is cyanoacrylic acid. It's a very low viscosity, very thin, uh, basically, almost like water, and it would wick into the failed membrane uh, due to capillary effect, and it would set very quickly because uh, CA hardens uh, when exposed to water. So give it about 10-15 minutes to harden up, and then after that, try your integrity test again. If uh, you don't see any stream of bubbles appearing, that means you fix fixed the filter. If it's still bubbling and you can't get it fixed, uh, then toss the filter and get a new one. Uh, using the glue method that I'm thinking of, I haven't done it yet, but I think I don't see why it shouldn't work. Uh, just blocking up a few uh, membrane strands is not an issue because you've got hundreds and hundreds of membranes here. So blocking up a few will not compromise the performance or the flow rate in any significant way. So once uh, you've uh, done your integrity test and it's actually you're ready to close it up, just um, just make sure once again the O-ring is clean, the seat inside is clean, and and just reassemble. Just screw it up, find your thread, it's really cost straight so it's easy. Tighten it until it seats and you, you are done with your Sawyer filter and it's ready to use again. So that's about it. That's how you perform an integrity check on a Sawyer squeeze filter. Let me know what you think guys. Um, if you've done it before or if you have seen this video and you gave it a try and it worked for you or not, love to hear from y'all in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.